Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. Um, in this video today, um, I gave kind of a challenge almost to Evelina and um, I wanted, she did this really pretty blue um, number in her crease and then she started to do like this really interesting shape underneath but then she ended up not posting the fucking picture. So I'm stealing the idea and I'm going to use it on my own face. So just get prepared to stick in and I've got my contact lens in backwards I think. Ugh, gotta fix that. BRB. And ta-da, she's back. Brand new edition, something. Grab a hold of me, stop me, no, 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 I don't know. Um, that's probably not gonna stay in the video, so. Um, alright, so first things first, I'm going to jump in with my James Charles Artistry Palette. And I'm gonna start with my P. Louise Eyeshadow Base. Um, in the color, I always get it wrong, 0 0.5. You know what? I don't, I don't need this friggin' sweater on. Ugh. I'm getting naked on camera. <laughs> you guys should be paying. I should be on OnlyFans right now. You guys should be fucking paying for this shit. Yeah. Um, oh, my mirror. I am so out of it right now. My back hurts so bad. And I know I talk about my back hurting a lot. But it's because it always fucking hurts. And it doesn't stop. It's just... Ugh. Also, I know I got some of the lyrics to Eyes Eyes Baby wrong. I'm well aware. I'm very upset with myself that I did that on camera, though. Like, for reals. For really reals. So, just going with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. And just buffing that out. I Like I said, I have, um, in another video, I said that I have found that it works a lot better with a brush rather than a finger. And I feel like you use a hell of a lot less product. So I like it. I like it, I like it. Alright, I'm going to try and do one eye on camera with you guys, and then I'll do the other off camera, and hopefully they look the same. Sorry if this grosses you out, but I've got an itchy on my eyeball. Ugh. Alright, this the contact lenses are not working with me today. If anything, they are working actively working against me, and I don't appreciate it at all. I'm going to address the elephant in the room. First off, thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome. I'm happy to have you here. I, uh, <laughs> I've gained a lot of subscribers and a lot of views, um, over the past couple of days, um, since I put out my Goodbye Jeffrey video. And I, I have to say, you know, for a channel my size to have, you know, 250 some odd views, um, is pretty substantial. And I feel a little, uh, what's the word? I feel a little overwhelmed at the moment. I haven't gotten any negative comments, which is really, really cool. I think I have a couple dislikes on the video, which again, you know, kind of expected to happen given the subject. So I'm, I'm quite happy with, um, the video that I did and I am, oh, I'm going in with this shade that I hate because it doesn't ever show up like I want it to. Um, this is the James Charles Artistry Palette, and I'm just going in with the color Cape Cod. If I remember correctly, this one's really patchy. I'm just going in, I'm going to cut my crease in a minute. Yeah, this one's the patchy one that I don't really like. But um, anyway, so I did my Jeffrey video, and I've gotten pretty good response from it. Um, like I said, I haven't gotten any backlash from it. Um, I expect, I honestly expected a lot more than I got, uh, as far as, you know, dislikes and likes and this, and, oh, I went too far with it. Fuck. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by the way that people are not just lambasting me for my own opinions. So I am, I'm pretty okay with that. Um, this is the color Brother, I think, from the James Charles palette, and I'm just buffing out the edge. Um, some people in the comments are like, um, like one of the most recent comments was that Faze Banks wasn't a Jeffree Star fan or something like that, that he was his fluffer, and I lost it. I was in the shopping center when I read that, and I fucking lost it. I was like... I wanted, and what's really, uh, uh, is really funny is that I actually was gonna make a comment like that, and I took it out of my video because I was like, that's, 
that's too far. But you know what? It was fucking funny. And I, you know, I I really liked that comment. It made me laugh really hard. Because it's, it's like I was thinking it. And you guys are picking up a what I'm putting down. And I like it. Oh, this is not how I wanted this eye look to go. Poop. All right. Um, I need to fix that. It's I brought it too far down. Um, this bit is okay-ish. I kind of think I'm going to take some makeup remover and just tidy that up on the outside corner. If I can find my makeup remover stuff. Where the hell is it gone? Yeah, I, I honestly didn't expect the response that I got. Um, really happy that it didn't blow up in my face because I thought it would. Um, but yeah, for overall pretty happy with the response that I've gotten from everyone. And I, and like I said, I've gained quite a few subscribers from my teeny tiny little channel. So again, I do want to say welcome and hello. Um, I don't always make videos like that. So I, I hope you're not too terribly disappointed with the stuff that I put out. Um, you know, go back and check out my older videos and you can kind of get an idea of what I do. I do, um, a little bit of face painting. I haven't done that in ages though. Um, I do face paintings, I do, you know, try-ons, I do different looks, trying different looks and stuff like that. So, you know, check them out, see what you think, leave some comments, leave some likes, you know, I'm just happy you're here. Okay, I wanted, uh, I wanted to find that with a little bit of black, so I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with a E1 from ColourPop, it's this kind of brush here, and I'm going in with Spooky, which is the black. And I'm just going in with the tiniest, tiniest bit, just right in my crease, just to kind of give me a little bit of depth. Well, that seems to, okay, I, I'm having issues. I might have to go into a different palette and get a black. That's about as dark as I want that. And actually, I don't have a lot of cleanup to do, but I'm still doing it because it has to be done. And, oh, oh, go, oh, for fuck's sakes. This palette is so fucking big. So big and cumbersome. Ugh. I'm trying to fit everything on my desk. I'm having issues. All right, so I'm going to, I'm just gonna clean up the bottom. And I really should have done my face first, but I couldn't remember how much fallout this palette had. So I thought it was better to just do the top portion of my eye first and then um, go in and, and finagle and work out the rest of it later. So I've got a volcano on my chin. Um, it came up a couple of days ago and I was just kind of like, I scratched it and irritated it. And so now it's like really angry and I attacked it when I got out of the shower, but <sighs> not nice. So for the cut crease, I'm going to go in with the P. Louise base again and hopefully not make a mess of the work that I have done. No, no, just dotting on the smallest, smallest little amount and trying to make sure that my eye stays how I want it. They're mowing outside. They haven't been able to mow since the city basically shut down. And so the mowers are out in full force today. I need to put this on a paddle bristle brush. I'm half tempted to just go in with concealer, to be honest, but we're here. We're doing it. We'll do it live. I'm just going and tapping over the edge to pick up any of the excess because I don't need a whole lot on my lid. And I say as I put more back on my lid because I have the smart. All right, I managed to not mess up my upper lid. Now, I do have very hooded eyes, um, which is why I kind of brought this up a bit higher than I normally would so you guys can actually see it when I'm looking straight ahead um, because of my hooded eyes. If I go too deep into the crease, I found that on camera it doesn't translate very well. For some reason, I'm not sure if it's like I'll keep my eyes more slack than I do in normal life. I don't know, but yeah, if, I found if I bring it up a little higher, it's much easier to see the details. Cheryl, yes. Okay, so I think that's basically, basically, it's basically, what the fuck is that? <gasps> oh, it's a huntsman. Mm. I hate spiders. Um, that was a little one, and I say was, but, oh, gross. It's in my eyeshadow palette now. Okay, um, that is disgusting. <clears throat> hate, hate 
Spiders so much, they scare the shit out of me. Anyway, sorry. What was I going to do? What did she do? She did... Oh, I know what she did. I know what she did. I remember, I remember, I remember. I'm trying to see, because she used a couple palettes that I have, but I don't want to use... Okay, I found one that's close enough. She took that. So I'm going to take Sister, and I'm really loading up my brush. And I'm just going to pack that on the inner corner and really bring it over. Ooh, for some reason that is making my eyes look creepy AF. Eh. I don't, I don't, I don't, eh. I don't like it. Fuck. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I was going to say balls deep, but you know, we'll go with it. I'm balls deep in this tutorial. <laughs> oh my fucking God. There's something wrong with me. All right. I'm going to go in with the color. Uh, what color is that? Skip. And I'm going to go in with a smaller detailed floofy brush. And I'm going to take that. I don't think I've used this shade. I'm just gonna this is not an everyday wearable look BT dubs this is a I'm playing with makeup and color and we're gonna do the damn thing I should have put eyeshadow base out here but I didn't think about it so sue me please don't I have no money actually sue me all you want you can pay my legal costs you can do all that jazz I ain't got no money so you can have my car. You can have my husband. Speaking of which, that little devil is playing his D&D &D game. Um, he's playing it in VR, so he's, he's geeked out big time on it. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to fix my other eye real quick. And then I'll move on to um, doing my base makeup and finishing off the eye look. Because there's still quite a bit more to do. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm about... I'm about, I'm about up to where I left you, um, but I just wanted to, to see, like, check in, check in with you guys, what's happening, what's going on, man, tell me, tell me what's going on in your life. I have been baking like a mad woman, I have been, uh, I've, I've been cooking a bit, and it's been doing me in, ugh, oh, I'm like, like, we, I went to Costco with my mother-in-law last weekend. I was wrecked for two days and just couldn't get out of bed. And my sleep pattern is all wonky because I, I'll do stuff like during the day, like I'll make cookies or I'll, you know, make dinner or whatever. And then oh, I gotta make sure I've got that right. This is much harder to do when you've got two eyes that are shaped completely differently. So like, yeah, it, I have to be really careful with what I do and how I spend my days. And I have to almost like plan ahead. I, I didn't realize that we were going to be at Costco for two hours, and uh, while it was really fun hanging out with my mother-in-law, it was it was really hard the next day, and then the day after that, it's just like, oh, come on now. Okay, so I have removed all the shadow that I wanted to remove. Now I'm going to put the P. Louise base back on and be really careful. Almost almost using it to cut the crease, but I'm not technically cutting the crease because I've just removed all the the makeup so like I said not technically cutting the crease but kind of basically what you do is you just kind of take I take a rounded brush it's a flat synthetic bristle and what I do is I just kind of follow the curvature of my actual eyeball and so if you like I think you can see what I'm doing so I'm just literally following the curvature of my eyeball and just kind of like once you've got that line established drag the product down into the middle of your mobile lid and Bob's your uncle he done did a cut crease they're really daunting in the beginning to do I'm not gonna lie but once you get it down it's like it's super simple once you get it you're like oh all that for no trauma trauma no drama no worries no nada super simple the only thing that's the pain about it is it just takes ages to do once you even once you get good at it, it's still, in order to get it to match up and be even. And like I said, I've got two totally different shaped eyes, so um, don't look, you're going to make me self-conscious. While my base is still sticky, I'm going in with that sister color, which is a really pretty rose 
champagne gold. I wouldn't say rose gold. It's more of a champagne gold. It's real pretty. She cute. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go in with that pink shade. Uh, what was that again? It was Skip, which is a very bright pink. Very bright pink. And I'm just going to... I think I'm going to clean it up on this side as well because I kind of want it to be a bit sharper than it is. And I'm using my brush to kind of blend it in towards the center of my eye. I really do not like what this eyeshadow is doing to my eye. It looks so textured and crepey, and I don't have a lot of loose skin on my eyes, so that's that's annoying, but you know, you do what you can with what you got, beaches, and right now I am doing what I can with what I got. I'm currently waiting for Trixie Mattel to start her full coverage Friday. If you guys don't know what it is, Trixie Mattel is a drag queen um, and she does these things called, she does these videos or live streams, full coverage Friday live streams. And basically what she does is she takes fan suggestions and she'll do the songs. She'll do covers of the songs, hence full coverage Friday. And she likes to keep them for about 20 to 30 minutes long. Um, she'll do between five and four and five songs, I think maybe, maybe six, maybe. But yeah, they're heaps of fun and she's so talented. It makes me want to punch a baby, but yeah, super talented fun time. She does them every Friday. She basically is doing the whole rig by herself. So she's like, guys, are you proud of me? I figured out how to do the sound this week. Or have you figured out, I figured out how to do the, uh, what do you call it? Graphics. I figured out how to do this, that, that. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love her. I love her so many times. All right, real quick. Gonna go back in with my micellar water. You know what I should have done? I should have taped. I should have taped my eyes, but I didn't think about that. So we're just gonna go with it is what it is. So have you guys found any like really good YouTube channels or anything like that that, that you find interesting? Because I'm looking currently in the market for new um, channels to watch. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. wish my friend Evelina would bring her channel back because it was a good channel. It was a good channel. I don't know what primer I want to use today simply because... Um, last week my skin looked, or earlier in the week, I can't remember the last time I did my makeup, but my cheeks, ooh, they looked rough. But it's weird because I haven't changed, like the only thing I changed was using my Stila One Step Primer. So I think... I might actually use that again and see how my makeup looks because I've been using the Tachi, Tachi, the Tatcha um, Silk Canvas and the Smashbox Primer together for a really long time. So I'm actually like, I'm super surprised that it just is not wanting to work like it normally does. So we'll give this a second to set in. I wish this primer smelled better. It doesn't actually have a scent, but I kind of, it almost smells like sunscreen. Is there SPF in it? Pump a pea size amount, my ass. <laughs> okay, so it says all-in-one lightweight serum instantly preps, primes, smooths, and moisturizes. Specifically formulated with R-Clay Youth Revival Bioavailable Mineral Complex, a proprietary blend of 15 vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Oil-free fragrance fee. Fee. Fragrance fee. So, yeah, I just wish it were just kind of like a, I don't know, like a nice clean smell. But, okay, I've got a cat hair hanging out of my nose. Oh, my God, that was a big, that was fluff. That was not even a cat hair. That was full-on fluff. All right, so I'm going to go in with my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. Bet you guys didn't know I was going to do that. Um, so this is, like I said, not a wearable look per se, unless you were into that gig. And if you are more power to you, um, I just, oh God, that's cold. Oh my God, that's so cold. I, I just, you know, when I go out, I don't want people to stare at me because I look like a freak. I want people to stare at me because they think I'm beautiful. I really wish Evelina would post her freaking look because it was bomb, guys. It looked so good. And it was funny because she tried it. She did it with lashes, um, with falsies, and she took them off and she was like, wait a second. And I was like, what's up? She said, looks better without the falsies. So I'm not using false lashes today. Oh, she also gave me another um, idea of a video to do. Um, there is a makeup artist online. Her name is Lisa Eldridge. And she, um, she does these really beautiful um, little tutorials on YouTube here here on YouTube, YouTube here on. She does like the whole no makeup makeup thing, but she makes it like accessible. 
and she doesn't use 20,000 different products. She generally, like the video I saw, she just used concealer and like the tiniest bit of foundation, the complete opposite of what I am doing right now. <laughs> I was like, you know, it's amazing how we've got people like Jacqueline Hill who has like 25 steps to her makeup routine and uses like a pound of makeup. No shade. Um, I'm, I'm not going light today either. Like Jacqueline has like 25 different steps to her makeup and she looks, she looks great. Like I'm not going to take that away from her. She's good at what she does on her face. Like she knows her face. She does, she does the damn thing. But, but my thing is... Um, there are a lot of bloody steps and a lot of product I'm going with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So, anyway, long story short, Evelina gave me an idea and she was like, why don't you do following a Jaclyn Hill tutorial and then do a following Lisa Eldridge tutorial, uh, Laura Mercier powder. So I'm going to do that, but I don't know how it will work out when, I mean, I know that there's going to be a tutorial online somewhere that will tell me how to download a YouTube video if I don't have Prime or whatever, Premium, YouTube Premium, because you can't download videos unless you have Premium and I'm not paying for it. Yeah, I've got to research how to how to properly do that thing. Malky, no. <laughs> Malky is, has been up my butt today. Like, the second I came out of the bedroom, he has been... Why are you doing? Ow, ow, that hurts, that hurts. Oh, I need to clip his nails. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the next makeup idea, makeup video idea, is following a Jacqueline and following a Lisa Eldridge tutorial. Just to see, like, the differences that they have between the two. Because obviously they're, they're two totally different um, methods of putting makeup on. And, and again, one is not better than the other. I'm not saying that at all. I just think it would be really interesting to, to kind of play around with that idea and see how it goes. So I'm putting just the lightest amount of powder on my under eyes. And then I'm going to go in and powder my whole face now. And I'm going to brush that away because I don't want like any crepiness under my eyes because I am a more mature person now. I'm starting to get more mature skin. And I need to figure out new ways, or I don't want to say proper ways per se, but I want to work out good ways to do mature skin that doesn't require like a lot of baking. Because baking under the eyes, unless you've got flawless skin, can make you look crepey and creasy. And I would just prefer not to look like that. Ah. My nose ring is stick. Not picking my nose and fixing my nose ring. There we go. Oh, that was, oh, I hate when that happens. When my two nose rings get twisted up inside my nose. Let me tell you, that is an interesting sensation. I'm trying to work out what I want to cook for dinner tonight too. I made a shepherd's pie the other night. And while it doesn't sound like a whole lot of steps, when it is, it's, it's a lot of damn steps. You've got to cook the meat and all the tomato and the peas and stuff like that. You've got to cook that all together. And then, then you've got to boil and mash your potatoes, which I put through a ricer because why not? If you're going to mash potatoes, rice them. If, you know, if you've got a ricer, by all means, fucking rice away. Um, what a ricer is basically is it's like a, a food press almost. And you have different discs that, well, mine has different discs and it has different um, size holes in the disc. And on the smallest one, you just mash it through and it just makes them so pillowy and it just like makes straight, like ribbons almost of potato. And so um, you have very uniformed mashed potatoes and then you just add in the butter. I put Parmesan in with my mashed potatoes, especially for the shepherd's pie. And then um, you kind of dollop it over the top of your meat and so it's kind of it's like a stew but not quite like a stew but um but my husband actually asked me when i first made it he was like you know how how hard was this for you to make and i said you know not terribly hard but it wasn't easy and i said why and he's like well because i really liked it and i wanted to know if we could put it on on normal rotation so i was like when he asks for me to put something on rotation he really likes it so I was very happy with that. Oh, that looks patchy. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's just the reflection. Okay, cool. I was like, please don't tell me this is patchy already still. Whatever. Already. So, oh, my hair is so fucked. <laughs> 
I don't know what I'm doing wrong with my bleach. I don't know if maybe I'm leaving it on for too long, but I've started where I wrap my hair in cellophane, um, not cellophane, cling film. And, um, or is it the same thing now? And so I think that that's causing it to get too hot and it's like, it's eating. I haven't broke, like my hair's not breaking or anything like that. It's still really soft. It could do with a trim. That's for damn sure. But we don't, we can't afford it right now. I'm getting to the point where I might just shave my head and say, fuck it. Cause I've gone with a shaved head before and I actually really like it. Paul doesn't like it, but I do. And it's my hair. I can do what I want to. And it would save on the, the bleaching and the bleaching and the color. It would save on that a lot. But 45 bucks for a haircut when you don't have money is, is a lot of fucking money. And that's a cheap haircut, by the way. Australia, you guys have to understand, Australia is so fucking expensive. It's like, I was talking to my mother-in-law when we were at Costco the other day. And there was like this five gallon, or however many liters that is, um, thing of olive oil, right? So I was like, Ooh, extra virgin olive oil. I need some. I'm out completely. And so I looked at that and then there was one that was from, that was a Spanish, um, olive oil. And the, the one that I got was like 38 cents per or 63 cents per liter. And so I looked at the Australian one. It was like 85 and I don't understand. We live in Australia. We don't have import costs. Why the fuck are Australian products so expensive? Like I would love to support our economy and, and our farmers and that sort of thing, but it's so bloody expensive. It makes no sense at all, but that's just me on my soapbox. I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, I just, oh, it irks me. Oh, it makes me so cranky. Because like I said, I want to support Australia. I, I, I live here. I want to support the farmers and their lives and that sort of thing. But fucking hell, when you make it so hard, ah, oh, I could just scream. Maybe she's not doing a full coverage Friday this week. I could have sworn she said she was because, 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 because. Oh, here we go. It's live now. Oh, I'm not going to be able to watch it live, but that's okay. I'm hanging out with you guys, so it's fine. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with, oh no, I was right, cola. Like Pepsi cola, but he can't say Pepsi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I've got the wrong brush to do this, but we're going to give it a go. I'm going to kind of follow on a different brush. This is an old Stila brush. It's a number four. They don't even make brushes anymore, I don't think, but it's this wonderful little eyeliner brush. I actually want to go in, uh, that's a pencil brush. I want to go in on a straight edge and I'm packing it. And what I like to do is pack on either side. So what I do is I literally just make a little... I just push into the shadow and then dust off a bit. And see, so you can flip your brush. I am getting hella fallout, but that's okay because I'm going to go back in with that shade Skip, buff out the edges. I feel like an 80s cartoon character right now, but I really, I'm liking the shape that it's getting. Now the problem is, is trying to match it up on the other eye. That's going to be a problem. But I should be all right. Might take me a hot minute to do it, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to come. I'm going to do this on the other eye and we'll be right back. Okay, so I have kind of done a thing on this eye. It's like great, but you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Even though I feel like it has to be perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's one thing that I have a hard time with with um like doing pictures and stuff like that of my looks because I want them to be perfect. And I am not a photographer in any sense of the word. And so I struggle pretty hard with that. <gasps> you know what I look like? I look kind of like a Cirque du Soleil performer. Yes. Love that journey for me. And this is the part that I was trying to get Evelina to do, but she didn't, she didn't quite understand what I was talking about. So this is the part where she and I vary. There's a variant. And this one doesn't flow as well as the other side does, which is slight annoyance but it's as organic as I can get it can't believe I'm talking about flow with eyeshadows like it doesn't flow like I want it and my eyes don't match even in the littlest no they don't match at all oh well. you win some you lose some but again eyes are two different shapes and and I'm a crap makeup person all right so now I'm gonna go in with a white which is called flashback um, in the James Charles palette 
and I'm going to go underneath my eye. Probably picked the wrong brush for this. It's a mess. Mahusive brush. I'm gonna go right on the inner corner and into like my nose, like the bridge of my nose with it. Yeah, I legit look like a Cirque du Soleil character and I'm living for it. I, speaking of which, did a Cirque du Soleil makeup look. Um, I did uh, Miss. Oh God, what is his name? Mr. Oh, I can't remember the name of the character. But anyway, I did a, a makeup look from Cirque du Soleil and that was so much fun. I will link it in my video so that you guys can check it out. It's from um, their newest show and I can't for the life of me remember his name and that's going to drive me crazy all blinking day. So yeah, there we go. Hmm. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go make myself another cup of coffee because I want to. I'm going to take that other, that, little, that shade, what the fuck is the name of it? Sister. And I might, hmm, I might go over the top of flashback. Like if I thought my upper eye, upper lid was creepy, this is about to get crazy. I just really want it to be super reflective on the inner corner. I was going to talk about something. Oh! Something really freaking scary happened last night. I was talking to Evelina while I was baking and I had Siri up because I needed um, my phone to do a timer so I knew how, when to take the cookies out. And so I was like, because <laughs> this is embarrassing, but this is just the kind of weirdo that I am. Um, I say thank you to my appliances. Okay. So like when Siri will make a, um, when she does the timer, she's like, okay, timer set for such and such time. And I'm like, thanks Siri. And so Evelina, you know, she's, she gives me shit about it because in my own little weird way, it's kind of like when the, the machines take over, they're going to remember when I said thank you to my microwave or I said thank you to Siri. They're going to remember me. And so that's when I was talking to Evelina and, um, and I was like, how crazy would it be if she was listening? And all of a sudden my phone goes, yes. And I was like, uh. And then I can't remember what I said next, but I was like, what the fuck? And she went, or I said, oh my God. And she was like, I know, right? And I just went, ah, <laughs> like, full, on, full on had a moment where I just kind of got really scared. Um, that freaked me out big time, but um, it was super funny. So I'm going in with the Love Life Disco, Love Lust Disco Epic Pin Liner. And I'm going to do the ever so slight, tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little wing. And I mean like the tiniest little wing. Okay, sisters, not twins. All right, pretty damn close on both eyes. So I'm, I'm actually happy with that. Now I think I'm going to take the chromographic pencil from MAC. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to just see how it looks. I might go right over the top of it with some white. So I'm just going to use this. It's a flesh colored um, pencil, but you can use it anywhere. So liner, lip. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, that really opens up the eye a lot. So it makes it look like the white of your eyes goes low or goes more, uh, makes your eyes look more open. Basically that's what I'm trying to say and failing at miserably. But, so I'm going in with my hourglass mascara. It's the caution mascara. And the great thing about this is because I have that little black liner right on my lash line, you can't see when I get my mascara on my lid. I almost just want to leave it on the top and leave the bottom like this. Evelina did, oh, she did a great job. She did like three little lines, um, like fake eyelashes on her bottom lid, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I kind of like the way this looks. Just evening these up because they are very different. Okay, now I have to work out what I'm going to do with the rest of my face. I need to highlight my brow bone. So I'm going to go in with the color... I think I'm going to go in with face. Yeah, I'll go in with that color, which is a gold shimmer which is one of the big ones. I'm just gonna highlight under my brow bone. You know, this is not exactly how I envisioned doing this, but I think it's still coming out pretty well. Um, all right, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. 
I'm using my ABH brow definer and I'm gonna do them off camera because I don't think you guys want to sit through another person doing their brows for 20 minutes so my eyebrows are done I like them I, the eyebrows look great um, they always do I, I, I love the brow definer I think I'm gonna go in with the color for my blush I think I might go in with the color sweet pea from flower beauty it's really pretty blush I think I'll just I didn't put bronzer on using the NARS bronzer and casino I don't really feel like this calls for a lot of bronzer but we're gonna we're gonna do it because my forehead is huge and looks very white all right so I've got some bronzer on just to warm up the face and I'm just doing the the tiniest little kiss tiniest little kiss of blush see tiniest tiniest little bit of blush okay I can't work out what I want to do on my lips I wonder do I have any fun kind of out there kind of coolers it's not a bad color oh fuck that's pretty oh I use this little hugs and kisses lip crayon it's um it's in the there's no color it just says lip crayon anyway going in with it I do kind of like that I'm seriously debating on putting the three lashes here but I really kind of dig the way that this looks now so I think I'm gonna leave it um, I know I've rambled a lot in this video um, I didn't have like a set out plan of what I was gonna talk about um, and on top of that my pain has just been creeping up higher and higher and higher so it's taking my focus away from the actual video but um, yeah I really hope you guys like this video um, this is just a fun little playing around with makeup it's a Saturday afternoon or still morning technically um, Saturday morning you know ran my errand wanted to play with makeup so I thought what the fuck why not so um, if you guys like this video <laughs> please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you every time I upload a new video and I will see you guys soon bye